There you go. Okay, so we're going to continue applying animations. That's in slide number 13. Okay, so we have an entrance, an exit, and now we add the emphasis. The emphasis is going to be in last place. Okay, so I'm going to be moving that one. I'm going to click into it, or maybe you guys find it to be easier to use this little link up here, move earlier. If we click into that, it's just going to move it into the middle. So now you guys are going to have a green entrance, yellow emphasis, and a red exit. Okay, now to the same emphasis, I'm going to click into it because this is going to start, you know, after the previous one. Okay, so we have an entrance, and I'm also going to be applying a delay of two seconds delay, and the duration is already set to two seconds. Okay? So basically, that's the setting that we are going to have here. If I click on preview, that's what we're going to have. That's the entrance, there's the emphasis, and then the exit. Okay, the reason I wanna, uh, we also want to apply an exit here is because we are going to be getting, we are going to be typing in your name at the end. Okay, so basically, it's gonna be an, there's going to be another text box. Okay? So that's going to be the animations, OK? We're going to continue working with animations because that's very important on PowerPoint. Are you guys with me? Yes. Is everything, mm -hmm. is everything yeah. good up to here, right? OK. Yes. Now, if I'm planning to add okay, another text box here, and the text box is just going to be playing after, OK? I have the three animations for Have a Safe Summer. Okay, this is when we are going to be using this, the display selection pane. Okay, now I'm going to click into that. And right now I only have one title, right? So look, yeah. using this right here, I'm going to click into the little eye. When I click into the little eye, it's just going to hide the second placeholder. Okay, now for now I'm just going to close that selection pane because I want to have you know, space to work with this, okay? Now, right here, again, here's a question. Do you guys wanna continue the same, using the same fill? Yes, no? no? Okay. Yeah. Okay, That's so I'm gonna, me. yeah, I'm gonna go back to one. Okay, remember how we did this? Back to one, I'm gonna uh, basically, um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to copy, okay? I'm going to copy this text box here, okay? So I'm going to click into the bandwidth, come back to your home tab. From here, we click on copy, and then copy, okay? Now, we're going to come back to the last slide, and then we are going to paste it here, okay? Now, we have use destination team or picture. I'm going to go with use destination pane. Okay, now if you guys look into the animation pane, mm -hmm. see it also brought the entrance animation. Okay, and we are gonna change this. Okay, so right here is just gonna be first and last name. Wait, um, okay, wait. Did oh, you add you another? No. You just changed the whole thing, or, or no, what? No, no, Emma. <laughs> Emma, did you open the selection pane like I asked you to do? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I hid the selection the first pane. One. The first. Uh... Yeah, we didn't delete anything. Okay. When you guys write no, your pointer no, no. and yeah, click I into did, the little I eye, we just hide in the, the very first one. Mm -hmm. They have uh, safe summer. We just hide it. Why? Yeah. Because we are gonna be applying a second one. Once we finish applying the second one, then we are gonna display again both of them. And when we play your animation, that's when we are going to see the difference. Okay. So I okay. hit the first one. Okay. So it gave me a blank. Already. So here's my selection pane. Okay. If I click on one, that's the one that has been displayed. I can't see your screen. There you go. You can see my screen? There you go. Okay. Now I can. Now we can. It finally popped up. Okay. Basically, I'm just going to be doing the same here, okay? Uh, right here, I'm just going to be typing Alfredo, okay, on the second one. See? One click, 
one more click, there's my insertion point, I'm going to highlight everything and then have a save, you know, just like that, and enter. Okay, so now it's going to be easier for me, right? So right now I'm, I'm going to be working with my name, I'm going to hide the mm -hmm. second one. And I hit my animation pane open to make sure my name was there. <laughs> okay. Now, the selection pane, I'm going to close out for now, okay, because I'm, I'm already have, see what I want, what I need to work with, okay? Now, I'm going to click inside, I'm going to, we are going to be adding an animation, so we don't need to select the placeholder, or we don't need to select the, all the text, right? Just one click into the placeholder, right. and then we will be able to apply, okay, uh, the animations that we want, right? So back to the animation styles, okay, and again it's gonna be a green, yellow, and red in this case, okay. Mm -hmm. From here you guys are, ch I mean, free to choose, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with flip for the entrance, okay. So it's gonna be after previews. On this case, I'm gonna apply three seconds delay because we have the other animation, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, back to um, add. And in this case, I'm gonna go with grow and shrink. Emphasis. <laughs> okay, and then again, after previous, two seconds, delay, two seconds. Okay, and let's go ahead and play it. Once you guys play an animation, play it right away, okay? So if you guys don't like it, I mean, it's gonna be easier, you know, to modify that one, or just remove it. Okay? Is that good? Okay. Now, okay, already, and then I'm gonna come back and apply. I'm sorry, add another one. This is gonna be the exit. Okay, on the exit, I'm gonna be using. Let me see, fly out, don't um, float out. Let me see what else we have. Zoom. There you go. I'm gonna go with zoom. Okay, and then again, this is gonna be after previous. I definitely wanna apply, you know, that was too fast, two seconds, duration, delay is gonna be two seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna play this. There's the entrance. Emphasis. Exit. Okay. And it was uh, a two second delay? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, I will, I'm not very happy with the emphasis. I'm not too happy with the emphasis, okay? So, if you guys didn't like that one also, okay, make sure that that's the one that we are going to be selecting under the animation pane. Okay, and it's not going to be an addition, it's just going to be back to animation styles. And under under the uh, emphasis, I'm just going to, I'm going to switch that one for the spin one, spin. Mr. Okay. Martinez, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Give me one second, one second, one second. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure I understood it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And make sure that we click on save, okay? Now, awesome. I'm going to close my animation pane. And now I'm ready to bring the other one, okay? So we are going to be using the display, the selection pane. And click into the second one. I know, right now it's going to look kind of crazy, right? But let's go ahead and mm -hmm. check it out mm -hmm. using, okay, your slideshow. Mm. 
there's the exit. There are three seconds, and then your name, entrance, emphasis, bye-bye. Hey, did everybody hear what I heard on there? That is actually the glass breaking, and then you, there, you hear the applause through it. Did you guys catch that? I just heard the glass. Okay, but say we wanted to like just be added at the front and the back, we can only go like the ones that haven't had that. No, no, no. You can always do, do that. One, we could do each like say we found a barking dog and something to go with the ice cream and Oh yeah. So we could do a different audio on very each everyone. Definitely you yes. Okay. You could do that. Mm hmm Okay. okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I was understanding. Yeah. Yeah, right here on this presentation, see, we could add a sound on into every single slide, okay? If you guys go online, right. you guys could go directly to Microsoft.com and look for WAB, as in Victor, files, okay? Those are going to be audio files, and they work on PowerPoint, okay? okay. If you guys have any Wait, other uh, audio, as, as like an MP3, yeah, you guys could also, you know, definitely just use it into one slide. Okay. So uh, if we had ringtone saved too, we could use a ringtone into a slide too, right? If it's long enough or whatever. Okay, yes. But just be careful with those because they are going to have a different format, okay? They're probably okay. going to work great, you know, just fine with your PowerPoint presentation when you run your show. But it may be a problem when you save it as a video. Okay? Okay. If you save it as a video, okay. more likely it's not going to play the audio. Okay? So okay. if you guys are planning to save it as a video, make sure that you guys use either, okay? The built-in ones, okay? Okay. WAV files, or if you guys get online, or MP3 files, okay? And MP3 files. Or MP3 files, yes. Okay. And when you guys do that, also make sure that you guys check, okay? Uh, the size. Right now, this is 3.34 megabytes, so it's perfect. But you guys are gonna. And see we want them to be under 10 megabytes, right? At yeah, least? yeah, at least, at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And right now, we are gonna be adding another audio. Okay. Now, my plan was, you know, to add, add an, um, an audio. You know, that is going to be playing from slide number two all the way down to number 12. And then it's going to stop here because we have another audio on number 13. That was my plan. Okay? But yes, we could definitely add a single audio into every single slide. Okay? Well, if, if let's, okay. Alrighty. Go ahead and close that. Yeah, yeah, you guys could close it, okay? So now that we know, okay, the next step is going to be adding the audio, adding a music file, and it's going to be playing from slide number 2 through 12, okay? So we are going to click on slide number 12, and we are going to be doing the same process because the file is already under the computer, okay? So we come back to the insert tab. Right. Mm -hmm. we got all under the... 12 or under 2, Mr. Martin? Um, two. Uh, uh -huh, it's okay. going to start playing on 2, on slide number 2. Because you said 12. <laughs> well, no, no, it's going to It's going to. I'm sorry, yes. It's going to start on 2 and it's going to mm -hmm, play all the way through 12. And 13 okay. is not going to play. Okay, so there we go. We have slide number 2 selected, uh, insert tab, and then we go to media. We had audio, okay, on my PC. Now, what PC stands for? Personal computer. Mm -hmm. Or personal computer. Okay, now, um, it doesn't matter where it is taking you, okay? So, whatever you guys save that audio, that's where we are going to go. I have it in two different locations. Mm, M N O P. There you go. And here's my audio. Insert. Insert. Okay. Where's my little audio hoochie thing? <laughs> <laughs> my little audio hoochie thing is in there. I know I did it right. Okay. You probably can't see it. <laughs> Do you see your bar? Yeah, your speaker? 
Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, I don't see my speaker at all. How long it is? Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a little bar right here. When, okay. you, when I bring it see, to the, towards yeah. the end, there's a timing. Because I was looking down, and so I thought it was up somewhere in the playback or whatever, and I'm like, mm -hmm. no. Okay. Yeah. Now we need to check also. Okay. Um, well, first of all, we are going to open the animations tab or animations pain because this is gonna go the audio is gonna go on first place okay so I'm just gonna bring bring the audio to be on first place but mm -hmm. how does it know that we wanted to stop with the audio on 12 okay yeah that's where we are gonna go right now mm -hmm. okay that's where we are gonna go right now Okay, so first of all, that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to move the audio into first place, okay, before we have the text and the picture animation. Okay? No. I'll move it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hold on. Wait, move earlier. Way up. Okay. The extra context title. Okay. Got okay. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. What, what the start time stays on click? No. Um, no, okay. we're gonna be doing this through. Make sure that your speaker icon still selected. We're gonna be doing that through the playback. Okay. Okay. So right here we have the audio options. See, it starts automatically. From here we are Do gonna be selecting on? hide during show. I'm looking for audio options. Hold on. Um. Make sure you click again into the little speaker icon so that you can see the audio options the playback um, format you got format clicked okay wait where is it? oh where is it audio options yours might be already open okay now um this is not going to be playing at, uh, see across all the slides right so Basically, from here, we're only going to be selecting that one, okay? Hi, Dorian Show. Now, if you guys bring your pointer on the audio, on the right-hand side, there's a little drop-down arrow that we are going to click into it, mm -hmm. okay? And from here, we are going to mm -hmm. go to timing. timing. We're going to click on okay. timing, and this is the window that is going to open, okay? Now, we have effects and timing. Okay. okay, now let's go ahead and click on effects. I'm right here, see? Start playing from beginning. Okay, and then we mm -hmm. have the start playing. Okay, so and we already have selected, see, after current slide. Okay, so right here, mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and select after, and you guys are going to select slide two. After two, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's well, stop. Twelve, right? Twelve, twelve, twelve. Yes. <laughs> after twelve. Okay. It was like. Mm -hmm. After twelve. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. start playing from beginning, from last position, from time. No, it's just from beginning because we put them into slide number two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So there you go. So on slide number 12, that's where we're going to stop. Okay. Now, timing, start on click. It's just going to be with previous. On click with previous. Okay. Okay. And then, and then we click on OK. Mm -hmm. Your audio pro more likely is going to be playing, okay, under the animation pane. Click on stop. Okay. Now from here you guys could go back to the animations pane, click into preview just to make sure that it's gonna play. So there, there's the animation, picture, text, audio is playing. Okay. Now, if you guys go to the reading view, okay, 
again. Now, we don't need to run the whole presentation. We can also go to slide number 12. And from there, you see, click into the reading view. Mr. Martinez? Yes? After we did from beginning and then after 12 slides, then click on OK. I'm sorry, I had to step away for a minute. My husband needed something. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Where we're playing audio, just click on OK and then play it. Correct. Oh, well, OK. It's playing. My music didn't play on 12. It's not playing on 12, I should say. It's not? Uh-uh. Okay, then go down to 12 and see if it's playing. Okay. Did it stop nope, playing where? Well? Mine isn't either. Empty. Okay. I don't know. I just went directly to 12, so let's see. I'm trying 11. That's what I'm doing. Mine isn't playing on 11 nope. either. No, mine isn't playing on 12. 10. Mine isn't playing on 10 either. No, it's not playing. It's only playing on 2. Only How about two? 3? Let's see. Let's okay. see 3. Three's not playing either. Let me try two again. Yeah. No. Only two is playing. Me too. What do we do wrong? Okay. Something. Nothing. Nothing. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of that in a second. Mine's playing through. Oh, you're so special, Mary. <laughs> I know. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, then you have to teach us. I know. What, <laughs> what we did wrong. <laughs> I went up to number two. And just let it run through from number okay. two. It went. So, uh huh. I already run my show, my presentation. Right. Everything looks fine. Okay. And this, there, there's only one slide here. I believe it's the one with the coconut. Okay. That I'm probably gonna um, the timing. Yeah, number eleven. On the transition. Um. No, nah, that's fine. Eight seconds. That's, that's okay. Okay. We did ten, so you wanted eight. Uh, I did eight, yeah, and I we was did 10 on yeah, that. and I was thinking you know to shrink that a little bit, but no, eight is is just fine. Maybe you guys want to change to eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. We put ten on it. Perfect. So everything looks good. Okay. Now, yeah. because we're gonna take a break. Okay. Before we take a break, we're gonna leave the computer working. Okay. Doing the process for the video. Okay. Now it's okay. gonna be filed. Oh, and one more thing. We haven't compressed your media because right now it's 10.5 megabytes. Let's go ahead and compress the media. Okay, it's just going to be for your presentation quality. That's going to be done pretty quickly. And then we close. Make sure we go back. Click on save. And then again. Okay. Okay, we save some space, uh -huh, two megabytes. Okay, and then we're gonna okay. come back, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and click on export because we wanna export this into create a, uh, into a video. Okay. Um, in my case, I'm gonna be using the HD computer and H HD display. Okay. Remember, this option is gonna take extra space. Okay. And after that, all we do is just click on create video. It's going to be asking me, okay, where do you want to save this on Fredo? Okay, what to do in the summer. And if you guys want to add something else, okay, in my case, I'm just going to say bye Alfredo. That's going to be MPEG for video. And then save. Okay, you guys are going to see the little bar at the bottom under so your status bar. Mm -hmm. That's going to start so you filling up. Oh, hold on a second. I'm still in, um, yeah. Um. Okay, now, after we save this as a video, we go. All, we are also going to be saving this as a, um, a PowerPoint show. Okay, now, in that case, I'm going to be using um, export. I'm going to select change file type. And from here, from this list, I'm going to be selecting PowerPoint show again is and um, and then after that i need to click on save as that window is going to open the save as type is powerpoint show it's going to go into the same place 
that I'm going to be selecting. In this case, I'm going to be selecting my other folder. I mean, from here, you could just go anywhere you guys want. Now, let me see, but I'm going to be saving this under my PowerPoint 10 a.m. folders. PowerPoint 10 a.m. There you go. Okay. And save. And that's it. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. So that will be applied animations, entering animations, emphasis, etc., etc. Okay. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.